Breaking right now, sources telling Channel 2 the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo the will be shut down. New limitations in the wake of the coronavirus. Hey, welcome back, YouTube world, to a Rod's Rundowns, the quarantine edition. Uh, today, I want to just use my little small platform that I have, the typical average 100 people that watch my videos. Welcome back. Thank you. I just want to use this time to say... I know this virus is all on our minds. That's the first thing that we're dealing with every morning when we wake up. So I do want to give a shout out to the people who are making a difference right now, the ones that are going to work constantly. And unfortunately, the ones who aren't going to work, who lost their jobs or the jobs shut down, slowed down progress. Um, I feel for you. And I hate saying hopes and prayers because at the end of the day, it's just words. It's not actions. And I really wish we could do more action. There's got to be something we can do. If you're in the Rosenberg, Richmond area, go check out my cousin and her husband's hair salon service and barbershop. They're great people. They do really great jobs. I'm not even saying that because they're family to me. They actually do awesome jobs. I'll link their stuff right here below. I'll probably have a picture showing their name and information, but give them a call, guys. They're small business owners, and I have no doubt in my mind that they're going to come through this with flying colors, but, but anything helps in these hard times that we're going through. Us humans take what we have for granted a lot, unfortunately, and I think this is going to humble us a little bit and knock us down a peg or two and say, you know what, you need to appreciate what you have a little bit more than what you've been doing. And uh, if anything good comes about this, if not items, you know, what you have, but your people around you, I definitely, definitely think we need that reality check. So, so I purchased these lights before everything got a little crazy and... Uh, my wife had been wanting them for a long time. It made the house look real good for a real cheap price. Uh, there's plenty out there that are a lot more expensive. So with all that said, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy the rest of it. Thank you. All right, guys, so this is what the front of my house looks like in the daytime with the lights off, obviously. So later on tonight, I'll show you a video of it in the dark with the lights fully on and what they look like. I had to get two sets for my house, one for the left side and one for the right side. That way they can meet in the middle of the door. And uh, I wish I could have got one set for the whole thing, but the one I bought had only four lights and only 10 feet apart, so I had to get two. So let me go show you what the lights look like. All right, so here they go, the Covert, the Covert LED landscaping lights I got. This is what they look like, guys. Uh, excuse the lighting. It's probably not the best out here right now. Can't really see, but the LED lights are inside. The lights don't come apart, so they stay in one strand, which is uh, negative and a positive, I guess. I guess it's better for waterproofing that they don't come apart, but they come just like this, and they're spaced out. 10 feet of cord in between both sides. You can't see that side yet, but 10 feet apart. I got them placed in the yard how I like them. It's wet outside, but can't really pick and choose the days we're doing this. So we got them spread out. I just gotta hide the cords later. A negative thing about it though is the cords. I have it set up. I got it set up like this for now because I got another part coming in Monday, but it's just a regular cord that they give you. So there's no timer on it or anything, so you gotta buy that separately, which it is what it is. But it connects like this, so it's waterproofing the lights to the cords themselves. So unfortunately it's not nice right now, but I definitely plan to fix that and bury the cords later in the future. But uh, it's really hard to give a demonstration of these in the daytime, so I'm not. I'll wait till tonight to show you what they look like. And But for $35 to $36 for a set, it's not too bad for four lights when you get 10 feet apart. I've seen them go for a lot more, so can't complain on that. That's a good sight. And here is after. Boy, that didn't make it look like a million dollar house. I don't know what does. Like I said, I got... It. There's one on the far left you can't see on the side of the house, but that's four. And then the other four, also one on the side of the house you can't see. Again, that's two different sets. One on the left side, one on the right side. But for man, a total of six... Well, now. Well, guys, I found a problem. For whatever reason, this AC adapter that came with it didn't work or it had a short in it. So instead of sending the whole set back, I'm gonna go ahead and splice both sides into this one. And all it is is a uh, positive and negative or a red and black wire. So I'm gonna connect all those, put both sides to one and go from there. So basically now instead of two plugs, you got one. And this is the result, basically a Y splitter. So hopefully this AC adapter will hold the load of both sides. So. 
We'll see. Sometimes you gotta adapt and overcome, right? And sometimes life kicks you right in the face. As you see, back to square one. Lights didn't work. Well, this has been a epic rise rundown fails. Nobody's perfect. You can't get everything right in life. So lessons learned. Just send it back sometimes. You guys, hope you all enjoy my fail on this. Hope it brought a smile to you because it didn't to me. You have a great day, guys. I'm going inside. I'm done for the day. Have a wonderful day, guys.